What's up guys, Jonathan Buckhouse here, and today, or tonight, I'm gonna teach you how to do a half cab onto a rail. Now before you try the half cab, make sure you can ride switch and you can do a switch front side 180. That's also known as half cab. So the half cab is a pretty advanced rail trick, so make sure you are confident on rails before attempting this feature. And then like any hard rail trick, start small. So start doing it on boxes, then move your way up to like, like box rails and then like actual rails before you just start sending it. Don't do it on a rail first try. Now with the half cab onto a rail, the thing you're gonna struggle with the most is getting your nose over that rail. So the tip to doing that is don't try to jump on the beginning half of the box, the rail, whatever you're doing the half cab on. Aim for the middle. You don't wanna jump right on the top of the rail. So that like support beam, that first one, you wanna go a little past that. So that's where you're aiming. So let's turn the lights on, get a better look at that real quick. A tip that I like to do is I kind of like to catch the rail with my my nose, which is then becoming my back foot. So I, when I flop it around, I kind of catch it, that rail a little bit and then get my lead foot on too. So I'm like touching it, kind of pulling myself in. It's a little bit of a cheat code for you guys. So once you finally get that full 180 degrees onto the rail and you're on it, make sure you squat. You always wanna be in a, a stacked position when you're on a rail. So you're gonna get that 180 on, get stacked, and that's how you're gonna finish the rail. So you're gonna half cab on, catch yourself with the back foot, squat when you're on the rail, and then look at the end of the rail. Never look at your feet, because if you're looking straight down, that's where you're gonna end up going. So half cab on, keep your head down, looking down the whole time. The reason why the half cab is so nice is because when you 180 onto the rail, you're then doing a regular 50-50, where if you do a regular front side 180 on, you're now doing a switch 50-50. So depending on how your switch riding is, it can be a little difficult. Maybe it's harder to do a 180 on, and or maybe it's harder to do a switch 50-50. So that's something you gotta figure out. I encourage everyone to try the half cab. It's actually one of my go-to rail tricks. I'm really comfortable jumping once again from switch to regular, do a regular 50-50 because Regular 50-50s are my strongest rail slide, and half cabs are super easy because my body naturally wants to go back to regular to the, its most comfortable position. Guys, I hope this video helps you guys. I had just another trick in the book for someone to learn. I know it's a harder trick, but I really wanna help you guys become the best snowboarder possible. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if this video helped, drop a like. And if I miss something, comment down below. I wanna make sure that we covered this whole, like, everything so then you guys can then do this trick. So if I miss something, comment that down below as well as any new tricks you guys want me to cover because once again, let's help you guys become the best snowboarders possible. Big shout out to Troll for having us come out. You guys are so awesome. We appreciate it. And don't forget all the Evolution merch guys is linked in the description. And with that team up gals, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving and we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm on top of the ocean living like life ain't frozen feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion yeah mama told me i'ma be somebody i ain't never gonna need nobody no no i ain't never gonna need nobody no cliff hanger yes i